This video is going to show you how to make a graph using Google Sheets on an iPad. All right. My first suggestion is don't use Google Sheets on an iPad. If you have a computer, use that. It's going to save you a lot of pain and suffering. If you don't, then here's how you would do this. Um, so what I want to do is I ultimately want to make a graph like this. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is the first thing I did, and you see it right down there, I took these and I copied them, okay? And I took these and I copied them, okay? Notice the instructions say make uh, with the average acceleration, okay? Um, in most cases, you're gonna use the averages anyway for any graph you're gonna make. So I, I copy those down here, great. I highlight those and then I go up to the plus here and I go to chart, okay? Now the first chart that comes up is like this. That's not correct. Notice on my directions, I said create two scatter plots with the line of best fit, okay? So I'm gonna go, no, nope, that's not done. I'm gonna delete that one. All right, I'm gonna try this again. So I'm gonna highlight these. I'm gonna go up here and do a chart. I'm going to change this to a scatter plot. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, um, right here you could add the titles. Okay, so I'm going to put here um, graph. I think this is graph two. And check the directions, and it should have a name. So the effect. Good. Um, I could put a horizontal, so that's going down. So that is mass of hanging scale. So I'll put that shift G shift done. Update that title. vertical axis, yeah, is um, acceleration of the cart with meters divided by seconds squared. It's hard to do the squared thing, so this is fine for now. Um, sorry, that should be yeah. Okay, so you put that in. Um, descriptive title as usual. Okay, there you go. Um, now, the thing, the part that's hard here is you can't really do much with the, um, to, to draw the line of best fit, you need to get a little bit creative. Um, so what you need to do is um, share and export and copy the link, okay? And then I want you to go to, um, to Google Chrome, paste that in there, okay. and go down to your graph, and click the three buttons again, go to request the desktop site. Now this will allow you to add the line of best fit. So you click on that, and you click here and you go to series and you go to trend line and then you can add a trend line that seems to fit your data the best um, right so something like that might be the best fit there most of the time for this is going to be a linear one this data is a bit funky though um, so you do that and that's it if you go back to here this should update with Funny enough, the line of best fit, I think. Yeah, so it does there. So it'll show it on there, but you can't actually write it on there. And again, best thing is just to use a computer.
computer, but if you don't have access to it, that's the hack to do it.